I appreciate the fact that the robots have epic music to play, but my arrows recharge about as fast as old people bang, which is driving me crazy because they have a lot of people right behind me. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Clone Drone in the Danger Zone. The only game where a 69-year-old gardener named Florence may be the only one who can save humanity. If you've got no idea what I'm talking about, because it's been a couple of years since I last played this game, then let me fill you in on what's been happening. All over the galaxy, human minds are being harvested and put into mechanical bodies before being forced to fight as entertainment for a race of space robots. Now, as one of those former humans, I managed to escape their games and flee into their civilization. With the help of a few other escapees, we found out that there's an assimilation fleet heading for Earth. So we attacked the Robo Emperor's compound, and I managed to upload my mind onto a soldier inside of one of those fleet's ships. After dismantling everyone on board, I took control of that ship, but that just means we have the rest of the fleet to deal with before they wipe out humanity. It's not every day you go from drinking Metamucil and planting petunias to space warfare for the fate of the human race, but I'll do my best. Captain, you have not issued a command for 5,000 milliseconds. Is our mind space link operational? Uh, yeah. Yeah, everything is fine. I I'm totally the captain, and I'm fine. I, I just had a, a bit of a headache there. I had to lay down for a second. You know how it is. It's always so difficult to take Tylenol without a mouth. But enough about me. How about we defend the ship? Or are you the ship? Because you kind of look like the ship. Destruction by allied ships imminent. Confusion. Yeah, that makes the two of us. I, I don't think this 8v1 is really going to go our way. <laughs> this wasn't what I was planning for. So I don't suppose you keep a white flag in your trunk, do you? Do you have a trunk? As the captain, I should probably know these things, but I've got the memory of a goldfish. Or the ram of a calculator in this case, I suppose. Well, here's an idea. Why don't we just give the entire enemy fleet a Windows update? That would break everything for sure. <laughs> yeah! Data updated. Enemy presence overwhelming. Recommendation, emergency hypercharm. I had assumed that red meant dead, not danger. I already knew about the danger ship. <laughs> At least you gave me my proverbial white flag and I'm not above taking it, okay? I, I think that an emergency hyper jump sounds lovely right about now. Let's do it. Command received. Exiting mind space. Okay, bye-bye now. Good luck, Captain. Thank you. You could just call me Cap, or Sauce, or like everyone else does. Uh, wait, should we be running? Because the entire enemy fleet was in Earth's orbit. We are clear. The hyperdrive is restarting. Enemy ships are inbound. Let me show you how to fly me. Here, practice shooting these garbage space rocks. Okay, so we're gonna lure the fleet away from Earth and then blow them away with how bad my aim is. Please tell me that space garbage is more evasive than enemy warships. Your crosshairs are a little cockeyed ship, and I'm just gonna throw it out there that we might be super screwed. Very good. Thank you. Real ships will have shields. Luckily, I have missiles for that. Oh, okay. Fires in missiles? These are heat seeking, right? Or rock seeking? I can't possibly miss with them, is what I'm getting at. Hopefully. The enemy ships are getting close now. To avoid getting hit, you may wish to engage in evasive maneuvers. 
Okay, but honestly, what are you going to be doing while they're here? Uh, just talking? Because I'm a lot better at talking than I am fighting. I think you might be better at the whole ship navigating thing. Oh. You can't run away from us, human. I will be the one to bring an end to your foolishness. Okay, yeah, well, he's a talkative one, but... Uh, I mean it. See how talkative you are now. <laughs> oh, he had friends. Of course he did. Oh, friends with missiles, of course. Well, uh, I'm just gonna have to say arimadurchi to you. Hopefully we can take out his old friends as well. Come on, missile. I got this. Everything is under control, ship. Just believe in me. Red means dead. <laughs> How do you feel about that? Ooh. The time for games is over. If the escaped human wishes to run, let them. Harvesting fleet, abandon all secondary objectives, and converge on Earth. I will join you shortly. You see, that's what I was worried about. <laughs> it's not what I wanted. So, now what? Uh, ship? Well, at least this ship is simplifying things for me. I was gonna say, which of these buttons brings us back to Earth? But it's the E button. Simple enough. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna fight them in Earth's orbit? Oh yeah, well, we'll just do that right now. There aren't any Earth ships, are there? Should I be worried about friendly fire? Now screw it, nothing here is friendly. Just you make everything dead. <laughs> fire the lasers. Come on, come on, you want some too, don't you? There we go. You dead? You're dead now. Where the hell are they? I got the music pounding in my ears, but I need a friggin' oh, Chewie to my Han Solo. What was that? I was busy making Star Wars jokes. Please die, lady. I got two missiles with your name on it. Whatever your name may be, goodbye. Is that all of them? That wasn't all of them, was it? Okay, they're bigger now. They got more space lasers. I don't know what the green things are, but I'm guessing I want to avoid them. <laughs> Just for all the missiles. Oh crap, it's got anti-missiles. Okay, we gotta take out the ads first. It's like any raid boss. <laughs> we got them, we got them. Everything, everything's fine. Just come on, oh, stupid little wobbly idiots. <laughs> get them, get out of here where I can shoot. Yeah, you thought I was practicing on, on that rock. I, I was just giving you a sense of confidence. Oh. Oh, he's got multiple layers. Wait, he can't hurt me with the lasers because I have a shield. Right? So I, I don't... Oh, there's my shield gone. Uh, uh. Wait, was that the Emperor? I think that was the Emperor. Can we just uh, make sure he's good and dead? What was just on Enemy the side of my destroyed. ship? We are victorious. Unidentified object. Oh, bad. Shoot him? Just shoot him. Yeah, like that. Oh, good try. How breach in sector 14? Alright, I guess we're gonna head to sector 14. Energy call. Oh. Oh. Wait, he's not here to fight us, he's here to blow up the you are too ship. Late, human. Well that sucks. I mean. Oh yeah, I forgot, he's got clones. He doesn't want to have to worry about blowing himself up. I don't need to worry about getting blown up either. This mind virus you carry is fascinating. We must study it once your world lies in ruins. The final mind harvest begins. Oh, you're going at that now, are you? So I, I probably shouldn't just stand here and enjoy the view. Uh, all right, I, I guess I'll, I'll get to whatever it is I'm doing. Let's try the door. Where's the door open? Come on, use your scrawny little robo arms. Florence, get up! We're not going down that easy, girl! Please get up. Did she just break her hip? What's happening right now? There we go. Bang on the door. Who's gonna let us out? We don't have any friends left. The rebels are dead. Ooh. Wait, you have blue We're eyes. We're going to have to transfer you one at a time. Hold on, I'm establishing an uplink. Here we go. Starting the transfer. Now. If it is not the first human to ever escape. Quick. No, not that human. 
Yeah, this is what happened last time. He torched my friend. My friend escaped. He jumped. I never realized. He survived this whole time. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's like me now. He's like a mind virus. So how did you get onto this ship? Probably the same way I did. Yeah, I suppose that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> this is badass. <laughs> so I guess we're gonna team up, see if we can find the emperor in here somewhere. Clark, <laughs> Clark, give me a hug. It's good to see you. <laughs> Watch the flaming sword, my guy. All right, well then, let's friggin' go. Yeah, I'm following you. You, you follow me, okay? You, you may have gotten the door open, but I'm the one in charge. Okay, I was gonna say, could you open this door too? <laughs> are there enemies in here? Of course there are. Well, it wouldn't be clone drone in the danger zone if I wasn't dreadfully under-equipped, come to think of it. I should probably let one of these guys kill me because uh, then I turn into them. Great. Uh, 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 hey, 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 calm, calm, calm down, calm, calm your tits. I didn't really want to be an archer here because it's kind of difficult to shoot. Wait, do I have a sword? No, I don't. And Clark's the uh, hammer guy now. All right, well, I could just kind of rely on Clark. This one had the deflectability and took me out. Don't worry, Clark, I got him. I can only do that so many times, so it's not like I'm just completely invincible. And I probably need to watch out because I'd be willing to bet that I can kill you. Don't want to kill Clark. He's very useful. This place is so colorful. The robots have a sense of fun to them. Oh, okay. Let's just start shooting at this thing now because we are fine. Oh, it's it's one of the little ads that I was shooting earlier. It was rebuilding the ship. Interesting. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, Clark. What are you freaking out about? What's what's? Oh, okay. There's enemies. I see. And some of them are. Much better equipped than others. I, mean, I, get, I can still take him out. I don't want to be an archer, though. I want to be like a sword guy or a hammer guy. <laughs> can I get one of those jetpacks? I also don't want to just lose lives for no reason, so I suppose we will avoid that at all costs. <laughs> Come on, just shoot them. I appreciate the fact that the robots have epic music to play, but my arrows recharge about as fast as old people bang, which is driving me crazy because they have a lot of people right behind me. <laughs> Please die. Don't touch me. No, no, no touch. No means no, even in Roboland. Stop it. <laughs> oh my God, arrows, please. You're breaking my balls here. It just dodges. Uh, can I get some help, Clark? You got one leg. Okay, how about this? I'll guide them to you. Wait, Clark, just stop, stop jumping, you peg-legged idiot. Just, just, okay, you know what, I'll do it myself. Oh, wait, now I remember. I got, I got a kick. There we go. Easy. It's all coming back to me, Clarky. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Hurry up, would you? I, I know that's a dick move. Should I kill you? No, no, I don't want to kill you. I, I, I want to give you as much of a fighting chance as I can. So I was going to say, if, if I take him out, he might just jump to something like a gigantic T-Rex. I got him. I got him. Don't worry. I had a whole bunch of arrows. Can you take care of the riders or become one of the riders? Yeah, that's pretty great. Oh, uh, got him. It's so hard to tell when you get stuck. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus Christ. I'm not ready for this. They're fighting on a whole different level. Oh, what the hell? How did I become this guy? Doesn't matter because now I've got a sword and I'm not even gonna use it. I'm probably gonna wanna use the arrows because they've got a bunch of bad guys. Ugh. No, we're, we're fine, we're, we're perfectly fine. This is the robot that I wanna be for the remainder of the game. So I'm gonna have to start playing a lot more carefully. I don't wanna try shooting at these guys because I'm pretty sure they have the deflect. <laughs> How you doing over there, Clark? I've got most of them. Oh, you transformed again. Do you have infinite lives? Is that something I should really know about? Is the elevator seriously loading right now? <laughs> Take your sweet time, I got nothing else to do. Oh. All Rumblots converge on the central corridor. Do not let these fools reach the bridge. Clark, I think we should reach the bridge. What do you think? I keep forgetting you're the strong silent type. 
All of these robots have their own strengths and weaknesses, but at the same time, I'm really happy that Clark looks like his mother was a linebacker and his father was a refrigerator. <laughs> or maybe the other way around. No, you know what? Women can play football. Women can be linebackers. Women can be scary big. <laughs> that sounds about right. No, Clark, you got chopped up. I'm chopping you up. What am I doing with my life? Lawrence, pull your head out of your ass. We gotta make our way over towards the spider. Hold on, I got him, I got him. We got arrows for days now, and we can deflect. You see, this is the perfect robot. I've got all the abilities, and I've got a little bit of armor, which means there's some room for error. I know I'm gonna be making some errors. Please die. Thank you. All I can do is say please. I assume they've got, uh, or dinosaurs? No, that, that one looks kind of Captain Sauce colored. <laughs> okay, cal calm down, Clark. I got him. I got him. <laughs> Fell apart like a cheap toaster. Hold on, we're, we're fine. We're, we're fine. Everything is fine. Just got a sidestep and we're good to go. Can uh, these idiots dodge? No, they cannot. <gasps> How do you constantly lose a leg? I don't understand. I've died in mysterious ways, but at the same time, I I've never just misplaced a limb. We're gonna let him fight this one out. You know what, I believe in him. You got this? Yeah, a little bit at a time. You know, maybe I'll uh, I'll screw things up for you by hitting you. I mean, technically he wins in the end. Way to go, buds. <laughs> Just gotta give him positive reinforcement. Okay, they, uh, they got big guys that are smart enough to move out of the way. These are terrifying. Oh, I survived that. How did I survive that? Well, I guess I get to be the big boy now. <laughs> Yeah, I can get used to this. Sweet. Oh my god. I look like a minivan. There you are, humans. You think you can stop the harvest of your pitiful species? Ha! Time to spread your garbage across the floor. Didn't I kill this lady before? Oh, uh, Clark's gonna get in there. Uh, yeah, watch out for the laser. She's, she's an angry one. And I don't have a bow, so I guess we're just gonna have to go balls to the walls. You're not nearly as big as you used to be. I may have grown up a touch. Jeez, where'd she go? Okay, quick, come on, get back down here. And just like that, she's smooshed. Easy peasy. Make sure she's good and dead. I think we got her, Clark. Time to die, fool. Oh. Okay. Got some Sith powers, I see. Well, uh, again, you don't seem nearly as intimidating when I'm like half your so holy Jesus. That hammer is the size of Clark. No, this this could be a problem. I I got him. Holy crap. <laughs> I just dummied you him. You still do not comprehend the futility of your struggle. Clones. There is nothing mere physical weapons can accomplish against my endless supply of clones. Can we smash the clones? Yeah, smash the clone Die, machine. Fools. Just, just turn off the clone machine and, uh... Oh. Oh, human. Why would you enter my digital domain? <laughs> my digital Security domain? Tell their mind apart. This is super cool. Okay, so we can connect into the... Ship, I still have my abilities. Good, great. Clark, are you in here? Hopefully you didn't smash Clark. You think his mind is gonna go down without a fight? Probably not. <laughs> These little guys? Yeah, they're just little guys. Never stood a friggin' chance. Oh, they took out my leg. So that's how it always happens to Clark. <laughs> Reasonable. The spears are uh, easy to underestimate. So what's this, like a part of his brain? It's like part of a Terminator's brain, actually. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. You don't have anything to say about that? All right, I'm gonna go get the left hemisphere. Be right back. I'm seeing a whole lot of glowy armor down there. Oh, boy. <laughs> they're big, and they're well-guarded, and they don't seem to fully understand stairs all that well. I should use that to my advantage. They have the mobility of a toddler, then I, I could easily just stab them like one. Don't stab toddlers. I don't know what I'm saying when I'm playing this game most of the time. <laughs> I just ramble, to be perfectly honest. These guys are freaking out. They're having a real hard time just standing still. Come on, hold on, just stay. Poke them, poke, poke them, poke them, poke them good. Oh, give them a good poke. Why won't you die? All right. Well, 
I guess I'm you now. Why did I have to break off his shirt and then take control of him? <laughs> I'm coming for the rest of your brain. Or maybe this is the shield protecting your brain. I see. Brain would be through that door. All right, I'm coming. The only disadvantage to being this big is that you move at the speed of smell, unless you're pulling a Sonic the Hedgehog, but when you gotta use your feet, you're real friggin' slow. Is there anything for me to smash in here? Like, uh, oh, armor enable? Or what have we got over here? Mind transfers restore. Yeah, I would rather have all my life back. That sounds better. Oh, it's not even a choice. I can get both. <laughs> yes, please. There we go. Got my shirt back and I'm ready to face the Where head. I, I, I was just gonna smoosh your brain. No, I'd rather not. Can we Rango Tango? Unknown entity in Emperor clone settings. Okay. Oh, I'm in his Stay settings. Away from my clone matrix, imbecile. You leave me no choice. Ooh. Spider Tron 7000. Oh, he upgraded the Spider Tron? I get the feeling its legs are gonna come off all the same. Holy crap, that thing shoots fast. All right, well, smooshy, smooshy spider, smooshy spider, come on. This is why I got the armor regen and everything else. Seems like it was for a good reason. Okay, now we can really move. Now we can die. We can just keep dying. This thing has a machine gun for an ass. Oh my God, it just keeps killing me. I'm not even moving. Okay, we, we just gotta dodge. We, we just gotta dodge while it's shooting and then shop. Yeah, like that. I, I wasn't even thinking. I was just kind of... <laughs> trying to hurt it. Now we're good. Now, now we're on our last life. Now we're on our last life and we're good. <laughs> Whoa, let's go. Is, are you not dead? Okay, now it's dead. Oh, Jesus. No, stay away from there. Mm, I'll think about it. I thought about it and then I missed, which kind of made it a little anticlimactic poke. What is happening right now? Okay, that's strike three. Foolish human. You think destroying my clone matrix changes anything? Killing me will not stop the invasion. Not while the core instruction sits at the root of our mind network. Harvest life, make it fight in robot form. We are all slaves to it. How ironic that in order to stop the invasion, it is our minds you must liberate. The core instruction is well protected, but your obnoxious mind virus might just let you past its defenses. Go now, fool. We will meet again in physical space. So, the MacGuffin that he was talking about is what's driving them to do this, and if I break it, then maybe they'll be happy space robots? <laughs> Seems somewhat reasonable. How am I gonna get through this now? Uh, oh, wait, can't I just, yeah, that's clever. <laughs> Easy enough, uh, sorry guys, uh, I got a date with the MacGuffin. I don't remember what it's called. The Space Matrix Core Robot Cart thingy? Th that, that thing, I need to smash that thing. That was it? I just had a, a bunch of minions, some peons ready to guard it? I guess they're free. You're welcome. Incredible. The voice, it is silent. So you can stop now, right? Right? Emperor, what just happened? Our command said it has shifted. Do we proceed with the harvest? No, call back our ground troops. I have decided on a different approach. Annihilate them from orbit. Command received. Recording infantry. What a dickhole. These silly games. Why should we play them with life forms so clearly inferior to ourselves? Reduced to a single body. I have never felt such clarity and focus. I will show you my power. Ooh. Fancy glowy emperor. Yeah, I'm gonna look forward to smushing you with my big body. <laughs> Get him, Clark! I should probably take out these little ads again, shouldn't I? They look like they'd be willing to repair him. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh, I got their armor. Then I gotta take them out. Clark, you're doing a great job, by the way. Real bang up job. Speaking of bang up, please don't get hit. Can I just like, smack him in the back? Oh, he's got armor too. 
That could be a problem. I gotta take care of these things, though. Come on, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Oh my god, it's like whack-a-mole. Here we go. I'm coming for you. I'm coming. I am so big and powerful. It's absolutely insane. I got the best robot, he says, while losing it. Oh! <laughs> Come on, take out the legs. He can't run around without legs. That's good robot biology. Oh, yeah. Get him, get him, Clark. You got the crown. We got him. He's super dead. There's no way he gets back up from this. Oh, really? You're gonna take the kill? We said that I was the leader, dude. Infantry recall complete. We are ready to commence the... I see. The Emperor is dead. Captain, this leaves you in charge. What do we do? It is time to go home. With the core command silent, we can finally do something better with our time. Humans, sorry about your major population centers, but enjoy this cool ship you have taken over. Good luck. If I could interject real quick, I thought I was the captain. They should be looking to me for guidance of what to do next. I killed the Emperor, you keep what you kill, and I think you guys should populate the rest of the universe as Bangbots. That is your punishment. <laughs> to get railed by all living things for the rest of time. But no, carry on. Who is this? Oh, they're all people. Are they the other people that I've played as throughout this? Clark, you're okay. You're a big boy, aren't you? <laughs> I think I'm missing a leg. You don't suppose you want to switch bodies, do you? No? Okay, yeah, let's just rub it in. Everybody's got legs, don't they? <laughs> Hi. Aww. Yep, yep, I totally am missing a leg. And I can tell you right now, the people of Earth not gonna appreciate us. They're, they're not gonna like us. It's just that simple. So we nuked them? I'm gonna assume that was us like pointing and then like a uh, fade to the credits, not the Earth exploding at my fingertips. <laughs> Leave it open to interpretation. All right, you know what I think? That's gonna be it for this episode of Clone Drone in the Danger Zone, guys. That's it for the story mode. The whole game is now finished. The full version is coming out soon. I'm not actually sure when the date is, but if you guys wanna check it out, I definitely recommend it. It's a really fun game and there's a whole lot more. We still have challenges and trophies and user-made stuff. If people wanna see me return for a couple more episodes or bring the series back, then as always, be sure to leave a like in the video, leave a comment letting me know, and maybe Florence and Clark will return again soon. It sounds like a really bad Superman fanfiction. I hate it. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.